Liam is finished South Park 2, Chorley 1. I must admit that first half performance one of the worst I've ever seen. So how did you turn that round in the second half? Uh, quite simple, told a few amateurs. Uh, it's a derby match. Uh, we had a brilliant following. Uh, we know the rivals have been quite you know, feisty in the last couple of years. There's no way they're getting away with putting a performance in like that in the first half. No chance. Not, not, not for me, not for the club, uh, not for the fans. And as I said, there's nothing. The difference was the ball was the ball was going up to Sam O'Connor mm -hmm. they were sticking. Yeah. They were sticking. It was going up to Jordan and Conor Heath it wasn't. And then all of a sudden, you know, they wanted to get it, the ball in behind us. They actually out they actually out Southport, Southport. Mm -hmm. That the, the way they played the game. They actually put it on us and uh, what I would say, that's probably one of the finest goalkeeping displays yeah. I've ever seen. Yeah. I said the save at the end is outrageous. I just outrageous because everyone I thought on the ground thought it's in. But just said it in there and I've said I had, a, I had like a night last night and it was a testimony night and everyone like the, the lads from 045, 9, 10, for tables were there. Now Tony was obviously gonna come. Mm. Now, you know, he wasn't going to have a drink and this, that and the other, but he probably, in the end, he didn't come. And he didn't come purely for that performance. Mm. And that says, as much as you can say about him, the player, the club, for what he's done for the club over the years, he's missed out on a night out with Seardale, all, all the lads on the, on the thing, for that performance. You got a lot of stick when Cam went, didn't you? I think, oh, got a 41-year-old goalkeeper. Well, when you see, in fact, it's not just today, it's the last three games. He's been absolutely sensational, hasn't he? I think he's been brilliant ever since he's gone back on the team. He's actually mm -hmm. given us an air of, uh, I just, uh, um, made us a lot more solid in the fact that his sweeping's as good as anyone, it always has yeah. been. I said, but his aura and the fact that he comes in the dressing room and the fact that some of, them, some of the younger ones have never seen Tony Matt play. You know, they, they've obviously can hear of all, the, all the, the leagues and cups he's won, but you know, to actually see him and then you see him as the goalkeeping coach, then all of a sudden you go, wow. You know, but. I what did you change at half time then, Liam, do you think? Well, did Jack Doyle come off? And if you look, the turning point of the game was Michael Carberry from the kickoff put an unbelievable ball into the corner, mm. penned them in, and then put an unbelievable ball in from the set piece. We'd done them on the set piece. Uh, it, it was brilliant, brilliant. Mm. But his ball was fabulous, and Doyle's got free to get a free header. So great, and then I think it wobbled them. But what I will say, Chorley should have had the game done and dusted at half time. Yeah. They were miles better than us, miles better than us. And even in the second half, you know, Connor Hall's hit the bar with a wonder shot. Uh, beat every and Tony and like all over the place and it's just come out. So, so, so it was our day. It was our day and we deserved it in the fact that we got a response. Mm. Uh, we deserved it because the fans stayed behind us and I think probably not not many times I've actually just walked away from the players and went straight to the fans. Yeah. And, and that was sort of like saying as if to say thanks. You know, I know what you've done for us today. Massive, massive. But you know, we've been crying, crying out for a win. I thought the performance the other night at Darlington was very good. Yeah. I actually thought the performance at Telford was good. I thought that was a tough game. Uh, the performance when we've lost to Blythe, we scored two perfectly good goals. Uh, rules out the performance against Fylde. We missed chance after chance after chance. Uh, and you know, it's just one of them things. So we're, we're not in bad, bad, bad form. We're not in a bad position. The lads have just got to turn in consistent performances, and you know, as I said we got we got up the following like we did to the, today. A few home shoots at half time, and I said, and these have these have been on a really good run. They're a good side, Charlie. Priest has done a great yeah. job yeah. where they are, and I said, you know, but as you said, a set piece and and one bit of where Jordan Archer's got the ball and actually put us in, and yeah. Connor's finished it really well. Uh, so I can't yeah. ask you the language you used at half time, but it. it what, what do you say to players? So, uh, you know, without using the language, I'm sure you use. What, what do you uh, say to them? You've just got to tell them a few own two. So yeah. you, you know, one or two of them. You know, people say Con Connor got the winner, which yeah. is great. Connor, Connor gave away the first goal. Mm. Totally switched off and their left back like forwards. I said that's where he's got to improve. That's where he's got to stay better, get become yeah. a better player, stay concentrated yeah. all the game. Not just Connor. I said Connor Heat's got to work harder. I said, you know, we can see he's got really good ability, mm. but as I said, he goes, he's a unit, he's solid. When it goes up, no one should be bump barging him off the ball. Yeah. And I said, in the second half, he come out and performed. He, yeah. You know, he, he won a lot of ball and he was looking to get out wide. Uh, you know, I thought Tyler, Tyler looked lively. So Tyler's had a really tough, tough spell of one thing or another, and it's actually so. That's sort of like the, the closure on that. So now we we get the real Tyler yeah. back, uh, which is a massive boost. Uh, you know what I think of Miles. He gave us something different when he come on. Switching now to actually then 
put us the ball, the pace in behind them. Uh, you know, it worked last time when we played them in our place, and you know, it worked this time as well. You must have been thrilled with the response. You know, it, when when they do that, that you know, you, it shows that you've got it there to tell them to do that, haven't well, you? Well, uh, again, last was it last season we come in the FA Cup and we two 0 down, yeah. and you know, we got a response, and you know, I think it's two 0 I think. I think we were, we'd lost the fans a little bit, and yeah. you know, Connor again pulls a great mm -hmm. goal out, and then they come back, and then Marcus got the equaliser, and then yeah. the equaliser ends up being the f infamous overhead kick, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Just, just you know, but well, just pleased to get the three points, pleased to get the reaction, pleased we give the fans something to cheer up to go, on. and uh, we move on to another really really trappy game, um, you know, and more travel Tuesday night. I said I've never had black. It's never ending, is it? This? Yeah, it's, you know, six away games, yeah. six away games on the spin, but we said we just took five points off the last three. Yeah. So you know, we've got two to go, and I said, you know, target wise. You, you're not a million miles away. You can make, make another win. You're not a million miles away where you'd, you'd like to think you'd got out of them. Well, well done today, Liam. As I say, at half time I didn't see it, but uh, fantastic response, and that's okay. all we could ask for. Thanks, Rob. Thank you. Now, got goal scorer Chris Dull with us this afternoon. Uh, what a turnaround, Chris, from that first half to the second. What, what do you put it down to? Listen, just hard work and just determination. First half, I think you can all agree we weren't, we weren't the greatest. <laughs> um, but no, we we had a little a little uh, go at half time, and we just turned it around because we needed to. Massive game for us, and uh, in the end, great three points. Yeah, it was a great three points. We've just had, uh, I've got to be honest, you are second choice. We, we just asked Tony McMillan to come and do an interview, but he's refused. But 41 year old and that save in the what was it 91st minute? That was just out of this world. Uh, he's wasn't unbelievable. It? He's a he's a credit to anyone. You know, we all should look up to him because pulling off not just one. There must have been yeah. three or four absolutely unbelievable saves, and as we said in there, we owe it to him. Like, yeah, talk to us through your goal. Straightforward header from a corner. Yeah, it was coming. To be fair, I texted everyone in the morning, said I'm going to score. Yeah. I just feel felt it this morning. Can you let us know then? We can have a bit of it. Just sort of shrugged them off, and you know, yeah. Got a good head on it. Yeah, you, you get a few from set pieces, don't you? I do try, yeah. yeah. I, do try. I need a few more, to be honest. So uh, hopefully that's a kickstart it now. Yeah. Obviously the first half was disappointing, and you, you you all came out and you know we always say Southport players that the the effort is always there, isn't it? Even when we're down, the effort is always there. But that second half, it was everything, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Listen, we that's Southport through and through. We'll always give 100 percent. But um, some days it just doesn't go for you. And mm. the first half, yeah, we we struggle to come to terms with it but I thought you know second half we really gave it everything and as it shows yeah a lot of games on the road at the moment and how are you enjoying all the travel it's hard work it's hard for the especially getting on a bit myself it's all right for the younger <laughs> lads but now it's um, we just need to keep picking up the points that's the main thing yeah do you think we're still in a chance of playoffs yeah always yeah always definitely are especially when we pick up good points like this yeah, it's, um, we've just got to look forward now to it. Got to get that momentum going, haven't we? Get a, get a couple it. of wins together and then that should do it, shouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, listen, we picked up. Darlington was a good point. Yeah. This massive three points, so we've just got to look forward now to it. Yeah, brilliant. Well, well done on the goal today and Cheers. the overall oh, the second half performance. Absolutely fantastic. Cheers, thank you. Cheers, Chris.